Welcome to HPB's Exercise Anywhere Anytime Workout. In this workout, we'll be doing SPA, which stands for Speed Power Agility Reaction. It's a combination of both strength and cardiovascular in a time-based format. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Hey guys, let's get ready to warm up. My name is Coach Zivi. Before we start, let me introduce my friends. On my right side is Coach Kokela, and on my left side is Coach Jeffrey. So if you're ready to go, let's do it. So first, keep your legs wide and shoulder roll to the back. Keep it nice and easy, just to wake those muscles up. So the objective for warm up is to increase the core temperature of the body. Okay, reverse. Let's go the other way around to the front. And of course, when you warm up, is to get your body physically and mentally ready. Now just give it a tap, lift your heels up, nice and easy. And now from here, we're going to extend your arms, reaching forward. Take a deep breath in and out. Alright, if you feel that you're out there, you're not thinking with me right and left, it's okay as long as you keep on moving. Extend your arms. And now listen up, warming up the elbow joint, curl your arms, pulling it up towards the shoulder, nice and easy. So at any point of time, if you feel a little bit breathless, feel free to slow down. And now we're going to go wide arm, elbows bend to the back and forward. There you go. Take it nice and easy. And now we're just going to jog on the spot. Just to get your body temperature a little bit high. Keep it nice and easy. Just imagine you're jogging, but you're jogging on the spot. Move your arms. How's everybody doing? <laughs> so kind of gaze your eyes to the front. Try not to look down the floor. Keep your body upright. Alright, just a few more. Kind of nice and easy just to warm up your calves as well and your ankles. And slowly march it down. All right, we're going to do arm circles. Arm circles to the back. Keep your arms wide. Lengthen your arms. Now, arm circles to the front. So, giving a little mobility around your shoulders. All right, we're going to add a little bit of fun and challenge your coordination. One forward, one backward. Ready? <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? So bring it one forward, one back. Alright, All right, we're going to reverse the other way around. Let's go. I know you can do this. If you can't, no worries. A practice. <laughs> and chest opener, open and close. Open and close. Take a deep breath in and out, rub your back. Mobility around your spine and opening up the chest as well. Last few. Two more times. And one more time. Alright, now just give it a turn. Now we're going to rotate. Keep your elbows parallel to the floor. Turn your hip and your heel. So rotation around your torso. Warming up your obliques. And now, we're going to extend your arms. Push it out, it's a double punch to the side. So you should be feeling nice and easy from here. For warm up, it's not supposed to feel too intense. If you're wearing a heartbeat monitor, it should be about around 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. Last few, three, Two, one. Alright, just march it out. We're just going to do a tap, side tap. Right and left. Let's go. Right and left. Now just watch my arms. Kind of extend your arms down to the midline of the body. Tap it out. And now listen up. We're going to go both arms. Push down. Last view. We're going to go two more, two, and one more, and march it down. Now bring your right leg to the front, left leg to the back. Extend your arms, and down. Bring it up, and exhale out. Reaching up nice and high. Bend your front knee slightly, pressing the back heel on the floor, and lift, 
and down. Last two. One more time. Now from here, tuck your tailbone in and back. In. Now extend your arms. Curl your arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. So warming up your hip flexor. Last few. And two more times. One more. And now from here, front leg straight. Push your hips back and up. Down and up slowly. And up. Place your hands to the side. Support. Last four times. Last three. And two. And one more time. Down and hold. Just a few seconds. Hold. And slowly rise up. Switch over the other side. And from here, lift and down. Lengthen your arm. Last four. Three. Two. One more time. Now curl your hips in. In and back. Remember the arm curl? Bring it up towards the shoulder. So to ensure for you to move on to your workout safely, you must make sure that you warm up at all times. Be it with me or anyone else or even your own personal workout. And now push your hips back, straighten the legs, hands by the side, down and up. Down and up. And go last few. You should feel a deep stretch in the hamstring. And one more time. Down and hold and stay there for a few seconds. And slowly release. Alright, keep your legs wide. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. One more time. And exhale. And we are ready to start. Okay guys, are you ready to start the main segment of the workout? Okay, but first, Coach Kokela will be showing you the regression option during the whole session. And Coach Jeffrey is going to show you the progression option. Whereas for me, I'm going to show a base variation. So feel free to interchange the options at any point of time. But let me explain to you the workout. It's going to be 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Use the resting time to either march it out, take a deep breath in and out. You can drink up and while you're resting, just look at me to see what's the next move. It's going to be A, exercise A and exercise B. So we're going to repeat twice. If you're not sure, just follow me. Alright guys, are you ready to go? Let me just show you the first exercise. It's going to be Heisman. We're going to travel to the side. Step. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. You're going to lift, pick your knees up. Hence, that's the speed component we are talking about. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Lift it up. You're going to go 40 seconds. Pick your knees up. Drive it up. As you can see, Coach Kokela is just going to do a step. Whereas Coach Jeffrey is going to do a rotation. Lift it up. We've got 15 more seconds to go drive it up. Move your rounds. Last 10 seconds. Alright, let's go. Let's do it, everybody. And rest. We got 20 seconds of rest. Hit the floor. Exercise B from here. Get down and down and down. All right. That's our first piece of getting our body a little bit intense during the whole move. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Don't have to rush. Take your time. Touch down, bend your knees. You can see Coach Jeffrey is doing a little hop in between. Whereas Kokela is not jumping at all. How's everybody doing? Let's go. Woo. Last 10 seconds. Option touch the floor or touch your knees. Choose your option. <laughs> And rest it out. Woo! You're gonna get from the top. High man. Travel. Travel side to side. If your heart rate goes boom, boom, boom. Take a deep breath in and out. Got five seconds. Let's get ready. Three, two, one.
Drive your knees up. Pull it up. Remember option. You don't have to run. You can do a step, step. Or do a rotation. <laughs> Even just by doing this, get your heart rate up. Cardio at home. Last five seconds. Push it. Woo. All right. Rest it out. Woo. Hit the floor. Next combo. White legs. Touch the floor. Bend both knees. Option. Touch your knees. Long deep breath in. Are you feeling like this, Riva? <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Bring it down. Hit the floor. Take your time. Bend your knees. Remember option. You don't have to jump. You can do a step or touch your knees. Let's go, everybody. It's load on your legs. Strength and cardio. We got 10 more seconds. <laughs> Last few seconds. All right. All right. First combo is done. Take a deep breath in and out. Good job. All right, get ready for the next combo. Moving on, combination number two. Same format, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So from here, Keep your legs wide, bring it down, touch right hand, touch your opposite side of your foot. Come back up, bring it down and up. Bend both knees and then rise up. Again, feel free to choose the option from my right or my left. Are we ready to start? Let's get going. Back wide stance in three, two, one. Let's go. Bring it down. Bend both knees and rise up as you come up. Keep on going. You can see Coach Kokela. She's doing a gentle bounce. You don't have to jump high, whereas Coach Jeffrey is doing a heel click. So feel free to pace yourself or switch the options at any time. Bring it down and up. We got about 10 more seconds. This gets your heart rate up going. Working on the legs. We got last few seconds, guys. All right, rest it out. We're gonna get down on the floor. <laughs> Feet seated, palms down, fingers pointing towards your heels or pointing to the side. Lift your hips up, bring your legs out. Extend your legs to the front. All right, shoulders away from your ears. Option, you don't have to lift your hips up. Ready, let's start. Extend your legs out, one leg at a time. Working on your upper body. Your legs, your core, your glutes. We can check out Coach Jeffrey. We extend your legs out, working on the core. Where else? Coach Kokela, lower your hips down. You don't have to raise your hips up. Whereas I'm just extending my legs out to the front. So feel free to choose which is doable for you. You can try to challenge yourself and change the options at any time. All right, coming up. Gonna get back from the top. Stance jack. Down and up. Take a deep breath in. So every time you have this rest time, really maximize the recovery. So take long deep breath in, shake it out, and suck yourself up for the next one. Three, two, one, bring it down. Push your hips back and sink it down. All right, if you're not sure why I'm referring when interchange the options at any time, from here, you just switch the option. Bring it down and up. <laughs> All right, feel free to rest in between and then keep on going. <laughs> we got last few seconds, guys. We can do this. Gonna get down on the floor. Switch kick. Let's be seated. 
palms flat down the floor, fingers pointing towards the heels, or the sides. Drive your hips up, shoulders away from your ears. Got five seconds to breathe. <sighs> Let's go. And kick it out. Send your legs out. How are you guys doing? How about you guys out there? Are you guys doing together? <laughs> it's okay if you're feeling a little bit breathless. It's all good. That's the whole idea. We're focusing on a lot of speed, power, agility, reaction. Different components of fitness today. Last few. We've got about eight more seconds. This is your last one before we move on to the next combination. Alright, coming up. Alright, good job everybody. And we're done with combination number two. How are you guys feeling? We're gonna move on to combination number two. Let me show you the first exercise from here. I'll show you the side view. I'm gonna bring it down. This is called burpees with four mountain climbers. Bring it down, extend both legs out, four mountain climbers and bring both feet, jump in, extend your arms, give you jump. Again, reminder, choose your options. My back and my front, whichever you want to choose. Ready? 40 seconds are first. Three, two, one. Let's go, bring it down. Four mountain climbers and jump both feet in and extend your arms. Keep on going. Look at Coach Jeffrey options. Instead of four mountain climbers, he's doing a double knee tuck while still jumping up. Just twice of knee tuck. Whereas Coach Kokela is doing a walk back, a knee tuck, and then walk back in. We got 10 more seconds, guys. And we're gonna go one more time. All right. Take a deep breath in and now. We're gonna go on to the next one. It's a broad jump. You're running back. Here's the front. Wide stance. Jump forward. Run back. Don't have to jump too far, but just land softly. Bend your knees. Run back. Let's go. So, hop. Bend both knees. Keep your chest up. You can coach Jeffrey. Propelling up with high knees up. Whereas Coach Kokela, just go one step at a time and move back. For the rest for me, you just do a hop, gentle hop. Use your hands to kind of help you to move forward. Almost there. You remember standing broad jump during our school time? Just like that. Alright, let's sit down. We're gonna go from the top. Burpees with four mountain climbers. Take a deep breath in and out. Show you from the side. I'm gonna bring it down. Four times. Jump in. Jump up. Let's get going. In three, two, one. Let's go. Four times. Remember, as you come down, bend your knees, then you extend your legs out. Almost there. Remember to bring your wrist right below your shoulder. We've got about 10 more seconds. So this is great for cardio, great for core, great for legs. I think these guys can agree with me. All right. Exercise number two. Broad jump forward, running back. All right. Can you adjust your hair a little bit? <laughs> Take a long deep breath in and out. Got five seconds. Watch your space. Make sure it's all safe. Let's go. Gaze your eyes to the front. Land softly. Try to have as little sound as possible when you propel forward. Alright, key. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. 
Push on everybody. <laughs> Got eight more seconds. Stay with us. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. Good job, everybody. Moving on to the next combination. Guess what, everybody? It's our last combination of moves. Let me show you the first exercise. Gonna go front and back, front and back. But because we wanna work on speed, agility, gotta go fast. 20 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna switch 20 seconds on the other side. Switch leading leg. Are you ready to go? Take a deep breath in. Let's get ready. Let's get going. Now, let's go. So as you can see, Coach Jeffrey, he's doing a double hop with both feet jumping forward and back. Whereas for Coach Kokela, she's just doing a step forward and step back. All right, ready? Let's switch leg, let's go. Switch the leading leg. Move your arms. Stay light on the balls of your foot. Got 10 seconds. Let's go. Woo. You should be feeling on your legs. Whew. All right, take a deep breath in and out. That's good. Gonna go fast feet now. Wide stance, four counts. Switch stance. Switch your stance. Take a deep breath in. Are you feeling like me now? <laughs> Ready, let's go. Switch your stance. If you can see Coach Kokela, she's doing a step. Whereas Coach Jeffrey, staying a little low. Switch your stance. So four count. Switch. Just imagine you're dancing. <laughs> Last few seconds. Alright, rest it out. Gotta get from the top. Just two more exercises, guys. Two more. Two more. Long deep breath in and out. Got 10 seconds of rest. Let's do it. Complete this. It's only 40 seconds for each of the exercise. Ready? Let's go. Front and back. Remember 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side. So move your hands. Take a long deep breath, stay low. You don't have to pick your feet up too high. Switch. Switch your leading leg. Almost there. We are doing this together. Got eight seconds. <laughs> Let's go! One more. 40 seconds. Just know if you can do this, you can do anything. Let's conquer this 40 seconds of work. Fast speed. Switch sides. Three, two, one, go. Four counts in the middle. Keep on going. Stay light. Option, remember you can bend your knees a little lower or do a tap. Stay strong everybody. We got about 10 more seconds. Last four. Give me one more. Woo! Walk it out. High five. High five. High five. Walk it out. Take a deep breath in and out. Woo. All right, guys. That's your last combination. Let's get ready to cool down. Congratulations, guys, for completing the whole segment of the main workout. It's tough, it's intense, but you guys did it. All right, let's celebrate by cooling down. First, take a deep breath in and exhale out. 
So we're just gonna go one more time, take a deep breath in, and exhale out. All right, take one leg out, and grab the ankle. We're gonna stretch your quadriceps. Hold that. If you find you're a little bit out of balance, you can actually place your hands this way. <laughs> Give it a try. But if you wanna challenge your balance a little bit more, close your eyes. And you're gonna switch over the other side. The other leg. Grab the ankle and hold there. Feel the stretch on your quadriceps. And now release. Coming back, tuck your tailbone in, interlace your hands, round your back, stretch your upper back. A nice stretch. Then look down slightly. And now interlace your hands to the back. Open up the chest, roll your shoulders back, and hold. Especially with all the exercises just now. Just in case if you feel any ache the next few years, the next few days, feel free to memorize whatever stretches we're gonna do and then do it by yourself at home. Release your hands, extend your legs out to the front, square your hips to the front, push your hips back. Place both hands on your supporting leg and hold there. And now, bring your toes down. Just go a little deeper if you can. And switch them over the other side. Switch. Push your hips back. And hold there. And now, bring your toes down. Go a little deeper. And breathe. Belly slide, white sides. Place your hands on your side. Drop one shoulder down. Facing the opposite side. Push the leg away from the midline. And switching over the other side. Now after a whole lot of intense workout, doing the cool down stretch feels great. And coming back to the center, place both elbows down on your thighs and hold there. Deep stretch. Now listen up, hold the ankle, raise your hips up and stay there. You can straighten your legs, you can bend your knees slightly. And now from here, slowly walk your feet together and slowly roll yourself up. And step one leg to the side and then lengthen your arm. Keep stretching the sides of the body. And switching over the other side. Then your arm. And slowly release. Now extend one arm, cross over. Really stretching the shoulders. The shoulders away from the ear. And switch over the other side. Raise both arms up. Pull the elbow. Chin up, chest up. How are you guys feeling? Are you feeling, Jeffrey? I mean, I can see all of us are dripping with sweat. <laughs> and switching over the other side. Are you guys dripping with sweat? <laughs> Hold it there. And slowly release your hip to the side. And we're gonna switch over to the other side. Face down. And look up. And one look to your right. Left. Coming back to the center, roll our shoulders back. We're going to roll our shoulders forward. And probably just bring one arm up. Hold your waist and just sit a little bit more. Feel the deep stretch in the side. And switching over the other side. Hold your waist. And a deep stretch on the other side. And coming back. One last stretch. One deep cross over. Just hang your body down and stay there. And we're going to switch over the other side. You have the leg cross over. And bring it down. And slowly roll yourself up. All right, listen up. Three deep breaths in. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. All the way to the top. And exhale out. And inhale all the good stuff. And exhale out all the bad stuff away. 
And one more time, inhale, feet together, interlace your hands up, reaching up nice and high and feel fantastic that you complete an intense workout. You did it for yourself and exhale out. Alright, good job everybody. Well done and we hope to see you guys on the next workout. Thank you. Great job everyone. Remember, keeping active not only helps us to keep fit, it also helps us feel good by improving our overall physical and mental well-being. Check out our other exercise anywhere, anytime videos for more workout ideas.